So a very obese woman who is an influencer, uh, her name is Jalen Cheney, is making the argument for a change in the FAA rules saying that if you are obese and you can't easily and comfortably fit into one seat on the airplane, the airline should be required to provide you with a second seat for free, quote, air quotes, free, because there's no such thing. It, it, we're going to pay for it. It's, somebody pays for it. It's always the other customers. Um, and there's an online debate that's fierce about this saying, well, the airline seats are too small. And, you know, you buy a seat and it can't accommodate you. What are they supposed to? What are these obese people supposed to do? 40% of Americans are obese. That's our country. What do you make of it? Isabel? You know, this debate continues to just shock and amaze me with each and every day how far we're willing to move the goalposts of what health looks like in society. My educational background is in biomedical sciences. I was pre-med through college and then studied uh, essentially science policy at Georgetown University for my master's degree, where I was uninvited from speaking today because I'm too controversial as an alum. So had to uh. had to make sure that got noticed. And that's what my tuition dollars went for. But you know, this obesity conversation and the body positive movement conversation is glossing every single magazine cover of what it means to be healthy for women. It's all over our TikTok for you pages for women, but we're not seeing the same conversation happening for men in terms of glorifying obesity, removing any sort of beauty standard or health standard. And I continue to see this continue to go around and around and around in the feminist argument uh, space online where people are debating whether or not it is healthy to be obese, whether or not it is beautiful to be obese, and how much our our society needs to accommodate for that, to the point that our own government has now moved the bench posts and the, the goalposts of what it means to be obese as a child. We've changed the BMI definition of what obesity is to accommodate for the fact that Generation Alpha, who comes after us, is so morbidly obese, that's now normal, so it's healthy. This is ridiculous to even remotely suggest that the FAA should provide two seats, but it's a larger conversation about the lack of overall accountability for self in this country. To take care of ourselves means to be healthy, to eat well, to exercise, to take accountability over our own lives, which will inevitably inspire us to do the same for our communities and country at large. But we've created this upside down culture to rely on the government and society first, our community next, then our family, then ourselves. And you're starting to see the deprecation of self-value physically manifesting through obesity, obviously, but also through the lack of mental health in this country in the midst of record levels of anxiety, depression, suicidation, the lack of objective truth. Just last night at the University of New Hampshire giving a speech, I was told by a college student that she wouldn't have minded if she was aborted because she had such little value and regard for herself. So I think this is a much larger conversation about instilling human value and virtue back into the individual in America today. And hopefully, Hopefully, we'll see a much greater return on investment in that in society. It's really crazy. Like, I mean, well, it reminds me of the the dust up, like, a, I don't know, in the past five days where the, it was, I wrote it down, Toronto Blue Jays pitcher, uh, Anthony Bass. I don't follow sports, but he was on an airplane and he was bitching because his wife had been, he wasn't there, but his wife was on the airplane who was 22 weeks pregnant. And she was traveling with a five-year-old and a two-year-old, their children. And, and he was mad that the stewardess, the flight attendant, told his wife to clean up the popcorn that the children had spilled all over the place. He's like, my 22-week-old, week-month pregnant uh, wife had to get down on her hands and knees and clean up the popcorn. Yes, that's right. Or you make your kids do it like any other normal parent. But this sense of entitlement, like, I deserve a free seat. I deserve a servant to clean up after my children. Why not from me? Yeah, well, everybody wants everything for free. They want to just get everything and not have to work for it. We live in, a again, all these post things, but we live in a post work generation nowadays too in America where people think that they deserve something without having to work for it. It's incredibly sad because this country was built on the back of people who knew what hard work meant. They knew what tenacity meant. They knew that if you wanted something in your life, you would go out and get it. I mean, you have, what was the poll? It said like 92% of young people in this country say that they want to be YouTubers when they grow up. They want oh, some God. easy job where they can be famous and, and just have their name plastered all over and have a ton of Instagram likes. Like those are the things that, that young people value. If that's what young people value, then why would you expect them to value any sort of hard work or dedication or passion to something? It's just it's, not going to happen. So, it's so depressing. yeah, you need to value hard Get work down, in this country. Get down, clean up your child's mess. Better yet, make them do it. And I realize obesity is a massive challenge for a lot of people, but we live with it, you know, accordingly. We, we all live with the consequences of our own choices. It's not the FAA's or anybody else's responsibility to help you out on that. 
Now that it's spring, it's time to get outside and enjoy your backyard. But does your backyard need a little makeover? Start with the perfect centerpiece, a Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. A Michael Phelps Swim Spa can transform your backyard into an oasis. The Swim Spa is an alternative to a pool with the therapy of a hot tub. Michael Phelps Swim Spas have a water current, so you can swim, you can do aquatic exercises, and just have fun with the kids. And because it's heated, you can choose your perfect water temperature and use it all year long in any climate. Michael Phelps Swim Spas by Master Spas come in a variety of sizes to complement almost any yard, even if it's a small one. And this is not a long, intimidated project. In fact, delivery and installation can take less than a day once your space is ready. Michael Phelps Swim Spas are 100% made in the USA by Master Spas, the world's largest swim spa manufacturer. You are going to love your Michael Phelps Swim Spa by Master Spas. Go to masterspas.com, put in the promo code MK to save $1,000 on a Michael Phelps Swim Spa or $500 on a Master Spas hot tub. That's masterspas.com, promo code MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.